This could be a really interesting video. So I want you guys to pay some attention here. So we know that Huawei and USA both are against each other, right? Therefore, in 2020, the US Commerce Department changed an export rule to prevent foundries using American technology from shipping cutting-edge chips to Huawei. After that, Huawei was able to obtain Snapdragon chipsets for the Huawei P50, Mate 50, and the P60 flagships, although those Qualcomm chipsets were tweaked so that they couldn't work with 5G networks. Then last August, Huawei shocked everyone by introducing the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, which was powered by its first new Karen chip since 2020 and is called the Huawei Karen 9000S, which do sports 5G. But now the real challenge begins. The Karen 9000S chipset is not fast, especially if we compare it to the latest chipsets. Do you know why it's not fast? Because the Karen 9000S was built using the SMIC's 7 nanometer mode, preventing it from having as many transistors as the A17 Pro processors used by Apple for the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And that chipset of Apple is built on TSMC's 3 nanometer mode. And now let's compare both chipsets. Well, the chip which is currently used by Apple is built using 3 nanometer mode, and the chipset used in the Huawei Mate 60 Pro is is built using 7 nanometer mode. But you guys would be surprised to hear that Huawei's chipset is 4 to 5 years old when we compare it to the latest iPhone chipset. Given the chipset which Apple used in the iPhone 11 lineup is the same chipset that powers the Mate 60 lineup. Yes, it's true. Further, the 3 nanometer mode chip equipped 19 billion transistors and the 7 nanometer chip only have 8.5 billion transistors in it, so we simply can't compare both of them. But here is the twist. Huawei knows its problems pretty well. And it is working on the next Huawei flagship, the Huawei Mate 70 series, and the Mate series always brings new chipset. So they gotta do something, right? Well, it seems they are doing some insane things. Because Huawei is now making a 5 nanometer chipset for the next Huawei Mate 70 lineup, because a tweet from an ex subscriber named Jason Will suggests that the SMIC has already completed the taping out stage for the 5 nanometer chip. It means that the process now moves from the chip design to production, making this phenomenal move. Although SMIC is expected to charge Huawei much more for its 5 nanometer production, since SMIC will be using a deep ultraviolet lithography machines for such cutting edge technology and it requires much more work. With that said, here is the cherry on top. Last month, Huawei had filed a patent for a technology called self-aligned quadruple patterning lithography that might help the company obtain 3 nanometer chipset as well. So gradually, Huawei is shocking everyone by competing with big dogs, which is a great thing. So I guess the next Huawei Mate 70 series would be a lot powerful and you might be able to compete it with other flagship smartphones as well. So what do you think about it? Well, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments section below. And as always, the story continues and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.